Hey everybody, I was asked recently to do some research on Elisha School and their pastor, Jeremy Nelson. I've never heard of either of them, so I started to look into it. I saw a post on one of the Facebook groups about the Holy Spirit 2020 Prophetic Conference, and I looked at the short video to see who was involved. The first face I saw was Heidi Baker, so I had an idea of what kind of event this would be. There was Michael Koulianos, Lance Walnow, Georgian Banoff. So right off the start, it was a mix of some of the most well-known people in the new apostolic movement. There was John Arnott, some priest I'm assuming from his caller named David G. O'Connell, Matt Redman, who I was surprised to see supporting this event, and then I saw Jeremy Nelson. And the people that preach together usually follow the same things or they wouldn't be preaching at the same event. And there was a bunch of others I didn't recognize. So I went to his site and although I don't know anything about his teaching, I think the crowd at Holy Spirit 2020 is enough for us to be concerned. So I scrolled down and the first thing I saw was something about a prophetic lab, which by the name just puts up red flags for me. On the part that explained what the Elisha revolution is about, I saw a strange part saying that God is raising up a double portion revelation. So it just keeps on getting stranger. I clicked on the Elisha school link and saw a bunch of titles that seem to fit into the NAR stuff we see. Things like the Jesus anointing, encountering angels, activating your dream language, throne room encounters, and developing your healing anointing. I don't really need to hear or see any more to know that this guy was going to have some errors in his teaching. We know that key words like activating, angel encounters are what we hear in Bethel and learning about healing is also common. So I watched one of his videos on healing and it would appear that he's following the same idea that they are teaching in Bethel that we all can heal. But then I saw a video that is called Deaf Ears Open in Jesus Name and I thought I'd take a peek. So I'm going to go through some of this with you because there's a lot of strange stuff going on here. Whether these people were really healed, God only knows, but I'm going to leave my comments throughout this video and I'll let you be the judge. But I see a lot wrong with this situation. Please try to watch it to the end to make a fair assessment and let me know if you agree with my comments. I admit that it was hard to go through the whole thing again because it just seemed clearer and clearer the second time that this was not real. But I'll tell you what, I really felt like there was like, there was three different people here tonight, completely deaf in one ear. I really felt like if it was a word from God, he would know. If that's you, I want you to come up here right now. We see a lot of miracles with deaf ears. Who's got these, these ears? Who's got these ears, he says. If you were really a prophet, shouldn't you know that? Or is God playing some kind of guessing game? If that's you, just go ahead and come up here. I mean, we were just in Brazil last week, and we saw six, we saw six different deaf people healed in one meeting. And we even saw one boy from birth. I mean, it's pretty amazing. We prayed for him. And it was, it was the funniest thing because he freaked out. He didn't know what to do because he never heard a sound in his life. He just ran around the room screaming. Ah! So the boy ran around screaming. Well, if he was healed, I don't think he'd be screaming. He'd be pretty doggone happy. Maybe a demon was actually cast into him. Because he didn't know what to do. You have a complete deaf ear? The, yeah, the auditory nerve is just dead in this left ear. Praise God. Are you ready for it to come alive? Yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Jesus. Come here. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak to this ear and this eardrum, and I command it right now to be healed. I command that nerve that's dead, come alive right now. Deaf and dumb spirit, loose the ear. Okay, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. One minute, it's a nerve that was dead, and God could heal that. But then, it's a deaf and dumb spirit. First off, she's not dumb. She can speak just fine, so why are you casting that out? And second, if it's damaged, it needs healing, not a demon cast out. We release creativity in the air. Wow. And like that little blowing is going to make a difference. We command every trace of hearing to come back now. Whew. How's that? How's that? I can hear you. Yes. You can hear me? Yes. It opened up, didn't it? 
Yes. She doesn't seem too happy after just having a deaf ear healed. If it was really healed, don't you think she'd be a little bit more ecstatic? Come on, let's give God glory. Now, how long was it deaf? Oh, <laughs> long time. Long time. A few, few years. Explain yeah. to us why you couldn't hear out of it again. Uh, well, when I had my hearing tested to see if I could get a hearing aid, he said there was nothing there to work with. There was no hearing aids that could help me because it was completely dead. The auditory nerve was just... So God just did a creative miracle. He just recreated that nerve. Yes, creative miracle. Woo. So how long has it been since you heard out of that ear? Years? Yes, it's been... Yeah. Who's, who's, who's amazing tonight? Jesus. God, Jesus. On, who's the healer? Jesus. <laughs> Woo, thank you, Lord. And what's with the hand on the head? Woo. I want just the totally deaf ones. Is it totally deaf? Good, come here. So why you want only the totally deaf ones? Why? If you have this gift, don't you want to pray to help anybody else? Here, I want to pray for you first. Which one? Yeah, that's what I thought. Which one? That's what I thought? Why did he even ask if that was the one he thought? Thank you, Lord. Now, what's wrong with it? I had radiation because I had cancer and facial nerve four years ago. And ever since that radiation, I haven't been able to hear out of it. God's going to release justice to you right now. I'm telling you, I'm talking about the goodness of God. This is restoration. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus, deaf and dumb spirit, loose this ear. So once again, the deaf and dumb spirit. It was damaged from radiation, and he's casting out a deaf and dumb spirit. This is ridiculous. And why did you push her? Was that necessary for the healing to take place? Mm. Mm. Pop, pop. Oh, loose the ear. Why is he praying again? And once again, why with the pushing? How's that? <laughs> you can hear? Come yes. on. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Come on. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. He's good. He's so good. <laughs> Come on. Lord, let that get on the crowd. Yeah, come on, the joy bomb. If you lost that hearing, whew, shake it, because of the chemo. A, a radiation. Yeah. Here, come here, man. God bless you. Here, stand right here. So what's wrong? Uh, there's no 100% deaf in my right ear. And, uh, it is 100%. It's 100%. How'd it happen? As far as I know, uh, I was involved in what uh, the, uh, my, somebody was drunk when they were young and hit me in the ear when I was a baby, and ever since then it's been like that. Wow. Come on, get her, Lord. <laughs> Let's pray for this. Just raise your hands up. Stretch your hands out, guys. Oh, right now, in Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you for justice for this man. Yes. Deaf and dumb spirit right now. Whew. Again with the deaf and dumb spirit. It was hurt from being hit as a child. Loose ear. In fact, Holy Spirit, come recreate every damaged piece of this ear right now. We just release power. <laughs> What's with the Benny Hinn blowing and why with the pushing? We never saw that in the Bible, and I don't think anyone that is trusting in the name of Jesus would have to add anything to the prayer, especially pushing. It's not like he even fell over. He was totally pushed. There we go. Hey, go ahead and do me a favor. Speak into his ear. See if he can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear that. Oh, good. Praise God. You can hear that. You can hear that. You couldn't before. So the guy says he can hear, but maybe that's with his other ear. He doesn't seem too amazed or excited. Come on. He says right now his ear just opened. He couldn't hear that before. 
Come on, Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, isn't our Father good? I love it. Thank you, Jesus. You guys, you know what? I, I had to be specific to the word that I was getting. Unless there's completely deaf, I'll pray for you. Is it completely deaf? Yeah, come here. Thank you, Lord. Which one? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> here, just... And one more of those. And what's with the sounds? No prayer. Who does he think he is? He ain't the healer. Jesus is. It's really warm. What's that? It's warm. It's warm in the air? Here, one more. Deaf and dumb spirit, loose the ear right now. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Here. She doesn't seem to be answering, so maybe she can't hear. Or maybe you realize you just don't have the power to heal. Thank you, Jesus. There's some joy in this room tonight. I'm telling you, the oil of gladness is being released. You know how I know when the, when the glory comes? Because it's, it's joy unspeakable, full of glory. Now he's sounding just like Todd Bentley. Whew. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command this ear, open now. Hmm. How's that? Better. What's that? It's better. It's better, she says. It open? Not fully, but it's better. But something's happening, isn't it? Oh, God's touching you. He loves you so much. Here, one more. It's only better. Never did we see in the New Testament someone only partially healed. So he has to jump in and power of suggestion that something is actually happening. Uh, how many know God is faithful to complete what he starts? Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command 100% hearing, come back now. Whew. <laughs> How's that feel? Is it opening? Here, can you hear that? Come on, thank you, Lord. How long has it been since you heard? Well, how long has it been deaf? Since birth. Since birth, this has been deaf. You think that if she'd had a deaf ear since birth and was really healed, she'd be jumping up and down giving thanks to God. Come on, let's give God a hand clap. So I don't know what to think about all this. Maybe they were healed, maybe they weren't, but it doesn't seem too genuine to me. As always, leave your comments below and let me know what you think. But until next time, take care and God bless.